Hello and welcome to another presentation from Wealth Psychology. I am Diara Cypherkelton and today we'll be looking on the aging process. So please stay on this page more after this. Thank you for staying here. Today we'll be talking about the enzyme telomerase and it has revealed a huge secret and there has been a buzz around this knowledge. However, this phenomenon as it hits the airways, it needs to be put into some perspective. Firstly, it is not the fountain of youth but it is a significant breakthrough and we're going to put this in a larger context for us to totally understand it. Now we all know that DNA is very similar to a shoelace. It somewhat has plastic tips at the ends and every time that a cell reproduces, the tips get shorter and shorter until finally they will fray. Now, think about your shoelace. Without the plastic tips, it will simply fall apart eventually. And this is exactly what happens inside a cell, really. Take the skin cell for example, that cell will divide about 60 times and that is what is known as a Hayflick limit. Now this limit, once it is depleted, it will plunge that cell into senescence and the cell will then die. You could say all cells have somewhat a biological clock and is therefore doomed to die after about 60 reproductions. However, telomerase can eliminate some of the contractions of the chromosomes and they, those chromosomes, can maintain their length for longer. Now, many people, when they hear this, they are going to start celebrating immediately. But not so fast. Why? Because first up, we have what we call cancer cells. And cancer cells also use telomerase and cancer cells are immortal. It is this specific reason why cancer cells are so dangerous, their immortality. What cancer cells do is that they grow and grow until they take over huge chunks of the body, rendering your body powerless to its regular functions and then you are going to die. This is why we have to make sure that when we hit ordinary cells with telomerase, we are not involuntarily triggering cancer cells in that process. Also, we have to realize that genes are very essential for the aging process. And we know that genes is only a built up of, you know, error. You see, as cells will become sluggish because of genetic mistakes, but cells have their own repair mechanisms. They can dam repair damage to their cells. Otherwise, we would all basically rot very soon after birth. The sad part is that even the very repair mechanisms, they will get gummed up and then the cell will start to get old as a consequence. So we have to look at all of these very carefully. Now, the million dollar question that should be asked is, can we accelerate repair to our cells? Now, that is another branch of gerontology, which is being looked at using genes and other chemicals to accelerate the repair mechanisms. For example, if I take any organism on the planet Earth, from yeast cells to spiders, insects, rabbits, dogs, and even monkeys, and I reduce their caloric intake by 30%, they live 30% longer. In fact, the only organism which has not yet been deliberately tested by scientists are homo sapiens like you and I. All other species obey this basic rule. You starve them to death, they live longer. And this is independent of telomerase. This is a function of the wear and tear that we have on the cells and this is the only known way of actually deliberately extending the lifespan of any organism almost at will. Now, what we want is a genetic way of mimicking this mechanism without having to starve yourselves. Because let's face it, how many people do you know would be willing to starve themselves in order to live 30% longer? Mm, I presume not many. 
so then the question is are there genes that control this process and the answer to this is apparently yes there are a group of genes called the sirtuin genes and sirtu being the most prominent among these types of genes they in turn stimulate certain enzymes and among them we have resveratrol which is found in red wine for example <laughs> no slow down this doesn't mean that drinking red wine or taking telomerase is the fountain of youth I do not think that we have yet found this fountain of youth. But what I'm saying is that we are now finding pieces to this fountain of youth, tantalizing clues that mean that perhaps in the coming future, we might actually unravel the entire aging process. Then we have scientists with you know modern technologies that go beyond the outer skin and focus on the energy of the skin and a significant research has been done and have greatly reduced visible signs of aging such as fine lines wrinkles dryness and and skin elasticity you see certain lipids are used to energize the cells and one such that has been recreated in the lab is known as the cardiolipin now, cardiolipin is used very closely with spinach leaf extracts, L-carnosine, and peroxisomes. And all of these combined is what we call the cell effect. Now, there are some products which you can get now which will eliminate lots of accumulated wear and tear of the skin. I will not call any names in this video, but I will leave links in the description below. But as usual, please, if you know anyone who needs these products, they are available and they help to keep the skin looking younger for longer. As always, thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe and share with someone this knowledge. And I will definitely see you in another video. So just please stay tuned on this channel, Wealth Psychology, as we do our best to help people live longer, live fuller. Thank you.